I'm so, so, so glad this baby has been added to my collection. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another wig review. Y'all see the smile on my face, so you know I'm already excited. Your girl is feeling herself, and this was so, so easy. I have another unit from Love Me Hair. They were kind enough to send me this unit. Y'all know I do a lot of reviews for them. I buy a lot of wigs from them, and I have to show you how fast and easy I was able to put this on and just, can we get into this color? Can we get into these bangs? But before we do, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. We do a lot of makeup, we do a lot of hair, we do nails, anything related to beauty with some fitness sprinkled in. So if you're into that, hit that subscribe button and join the family. I won't keep you waiting if you wanna see what I did to this hair, y'all will not believe how fast it was. I'm still not believing how fast it was. If y'all want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. So like I said in the intro, this is a Love Me Hair wig. And this is everything that came in the box. You always get goodies in their box. This one, they gave me a headband to help note the lace. I love that these come with Velcro now. You don't have to tie them. You get a baby hair brush, which you can never have too many of those. And then this is new. You actually get a bonnet with this one. So adding some more wig caps, you can never have too many of those. Let's get into this hair. So automatically I was like I am not washing her because these curls are gorgeous and I will not be able to do this myself so cap construction is pretty standard two combs on the side one at the back of the lace and then one in the back your adjustable band is already in there included and then you also have your adjustable straps in the back I love that they give you an adjustable band that's easy to remove this hairline actually looks pretty good and when I first started getting into wigs I probably would not have done anything as far as plucking it. They did a really good job. It's thin, the knots are small and then they also have it parted already with the C part. Love that and I think the spacing for that is good too so this feels pretty wearable straight out the box. Now, because I'm extra and have, want to practice more, I went in and I did some tweezing myself so you can see the difference that it makes on the hairline. Just gives it a little more of the gradual density instead of just the straight line across and helps it look more realistic when you're melting it. These bangs are so pretty and I cannot wait to style this hair on my head. So this wig is their brown mixed black loose wave 5x5 five five closure C part glueless wig with bangs. I am trying to remember. <laughs> I think I got mine in 16 inches, but I don't know. She looks long. It might be 18. I normally don't get them really long, but I don't know. With these curls, she's looking a little long. I feel like this wig was lightly bleached, like the knots were lightly bleached. And I also think that the hairline looked really good. Now, yes, I did go in and pluck it some more. It does say it's 150% density. It's brown mixed with black. It does say pre-plucked, but you know, I'm getting better. So I had to do a little finesse in myself. And it says it is a right C part, which I'm good with. I don't really... When I part my own hair, I like to part on the left. When I wear my wigs, I don't know why I don't care as much. It does say it can be worn glueless, all that good stuff. So the thing that got me was the bangs and the color. Now I will say the only thing that I don't love is that there are just bangs and there's no layers. So I might be cutting layers. We will see. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make this easy. I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail and I'm going to put my wig cap, my wig grip on and we're going to put her on and style her. So let's just see what she looks like on straight out the box. Like, look at these little ringlet curls, so cute. Okay. I 
And honestly, I do love that this is a closure because I feel like closures are so much easier to wear. Just a little too much, but right off the bat, come on, curls. Yes, this is cute. And y'all can see I did do a little bit of plucking. I showed it on my mannequin head, but you can see it even better now but again that was just me being extra because i didn't pluck this side so i'm gonna take my wax stick and just push this back a tad to get i do want to have some kind of some kind of volume in the front i don't want just a flat bang but i don't know i feel like i probably should have put since it's already parted i'm gonna just put some powder but I love this C part. I know y'all are probably thinking like this girl just reviews all these love me wigs because they are sent to her. But let me tell y'all something. I just ordered three with my own money. So do not think that the only reason why I rep for this brand as much as I do is because I get all my stuff for free. I have a lot of wigs from them and I buy a lot of wigs from them. So let's just keep that in mind. Just gonna smooth this back so y'all can see that hairline because we want a little bump in the front. I don't want just no straight back and I'm probably, yeah, there we go. Probably going to, I know I need to curl these bangs but we're gonna see about layers. So I don't know if I want to comb yeah, I really wish they would have did this in some layers. I mean, bangs are cute. And I guess if you wanted to swoop it, you could. I'm doing a lot of talking. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like I could probably put her on a little bit tighter. But... Might spray her just a tiny, tiny bit, but I'm going to put some more powder on the lace in the front. So let's see what we're doing with these bangs because some of this hair, I'm going to curl this back away from my face because I really want to have more of a kind of layered look than a swoop. Okay, let's put some powder on this lace. Yeah, okay, so I will definitely have to put my elastic bands in the back a little tighter to be able to wear her glueless the way I want. Let me get my spray. So I'm just going to use this even, this is the original extra mega hold. I don't plan on sleeping in this wig, <laughs> so I could care less how it stays. I just want the lace to lay down and for this to look as seamless as possible to give this a good review because she deserves it. So let's just go ahead and spray a tiny little bit across the front. I'm just going to tie this down and let this dry while I work on the curls because like I said, I want to leave her curly, but I do want to comb them out a little tiny bit just to make them a little more tame and not so frizzy. I do feel like I kind of need some frizz spray or just something to help. I'm getting a little bit of shedding and I don't think that's from plucking because it feels like it's coming more from the back. I really want to cut some layers into this wig y'all like right here in the front. Okay. I've never cut a wig ever, but I feel like 
just a tiny bit in the front. YOLO, right? Just like, hold on. We're just gonna take this. Oh, I'm nervous. I did it. Oh, I did it. Let's see what happens. Did it do anything? A little bit? <laughs> oh, my nerves. Girl, who do you think you are? There we go. Yeah, give her a little life. There it is. Ooh, yes, definitely the right call. Okay, what are we doing on this side? Are we doing anything on this side? I think we need to, right? Feel like she don't like that too much why is it feeling like super okay we're all right we're all right i don't feel like i did as much on that side i'm a little nervous because i don't want to cut out too much of the layers i mean too much of the color okay that did something that's enough because i'm getting nervous who told me I could look this cute cutting some layers in a wig? Look at this color. Okay, I think this should be dry. Let's take this off. A little bit of hairspray for these flyaways. Oh, I'm so, so, so glad this baby has been added to my collection. Look at this hair. All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. I did go ahead and spray down the front of it a little bit just because I wanted it to look flawless, which it does. The hairline looks really, really good. I love the bangs. I love the color. I love, love, love this unit. And I'm really glad it's longer than what I'm used to because the way these curls are holding, it still gives me a lot of volume and it's sassy, but it's not too long. So... I'm gonna give you a quick little 360. This is the side, so you can see the color is actually, you know, woven into it versus just being like a streak in the front. I don't like that. This, this is the back, and I don't know what she looks like because I just brushed through it, but this is, you can see the length on me. And then this is, the other side here. I love this side, of course, because of the bangs, you know. And yeah, that is it. So hope this video wasn't too long. Y'all, this was so easy and I said I wasn't gonna keep it on. I'm not gonna keep it on, but I might throw it back on tomorrow. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much to Love Me Hair for partnering with me again for another video. I'm sorry, I just feel like the quality of their hair for the price, I'm not spending four or $500 on a wig, I'm just not. Some people do, kudos to you. I ain't got it like that, because I like to buy makeup too. So this one is about $200, I will have a discount code down below. So if you like it and you want something quick and easy to throw on and go, this is your girl. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.